Hello and welcome. Today we're in the new tier 9 German destroyer, the Felix Schultz. She's part of the new tech tree and effectively the strengths of the ship is that uh, she has very good ballistics. And while her damage per minute numbers on HE are pretty low, the AP is pretty good. Com combine this with the accuracy of these guns, it's pretty damn good. On top of that she has fairly long range torpedoes, 12 kilometers. However, these are fairly low, slow torpedoes. It's kind of hard to hit with them. But effectively, you're playing a harassing ship. You try to be annoying, especially to cruisers. Because when they show side, like this Prince Eugen is, she ends up taking a lot of damage, a lot more than she expects. I mean, 4k first salvo, 4k next salvo, also, oh no, Yuguma. Now, one problem she has is destroyers. Because you overpen with your AP, so you have to use HE, but your damage per minute with HE is lackluster. It's alright, but you'll probably lose to a lot of destroyers in a straight up fight. This time though, luckily I have an island that breaks uh, spotting and... Uh, well, <laughs> apparently uh, the Yuguma decided to actually just sail into a torpedo, so <laughs> that makes things way easier. But because the enemy doesn't have a destroyer over here anymore, I'm just gonna keep pushing. Well. There's another reason. Yuguma might have torpedoed me, therefore I would have to push forward to be able to avoid the torps. But it seems she didn't. Regardless, I'm just gonna get into a better position to shell this Vladivostok, because she is kinda out of position now that they now that she has no cover from the Yuguma. The AP shells of the ship do have better auto bounce angles, which means that the enemy has to angle more than they expect against the ship. HE is nice though, because you can obviously start fires and, well, your AP is gonna take a long time to actually take out the battleship. You can harass really well, but actually finishing ships off is kinda hard. You do have a smokescreen though, so there's that. Oh my god, 7000 damage. But that's all 6 shells hitting and dealing damage. You know, next salvo 3000, so that's more what you would expect. But I mean, it's still damage. It's it's pretty damn good damage, it's just that you aren't gonna finish anything off. And you need many targets, because if the ship angles against you, well, <clears throat> sadly you aren't gonna do too much against them. But I mean, again, you're mostly a harassing destroyer. You just keep shooting them so that they reposition or try to do something that gives your team an advantage. You're not really meant to just go out there and just kill everything. Which would be quite fun, but I suppose would probably be a little too overpowered, huh? Also, the guns are extremely accurate as far as World of Warships is concerned. Like, seriously. These guns are really accurate. I mean, most of my salvos here hit every single shell I fire. Right? That was six shells. This was six shells. The next one's probably gonna be six shells. I'm trying to hit the stern of the ship, by the way. Okay, this one was four shells only, because I think one of them went over. I probably should have led more anyway. This was six shells again. So, yeah, you hit so many of your shells. So even though your, your spreadsheet numbers might actually not be the highest, you still effectively put out quite a lot of damage. Although probably still less than many of the other ships, at least with HE. But it's still something. Also, <laughs> apparently the torpedoes don't do all that much damage either. 7k on that one. Okay, now we have a broadside target, the Alsace. So obviously we're gonna fire AP again. Because again, HE damage output is... It's lackluster. So if you don't get fires, it feels really bad. But here, uh, well, I guess I'll have to get closer because literally all the enemies are sailing away because we have a um, Massachusetts and Vladivostok pushing. Now, I gotta complain a little bit. They could have pushed way earlier, but they didn't. I suppose, you know, they tried to stay safe too because it's not like... If, if one of the allies of theirs turned around, say the other battleship, and the enemies just tur turned on the guy that didn't turn around, well, he'd be dead, right? So... People try to push in a safe manner. But because the battleships are actually pushing, I can just open the water fire. I'm surprised I'm not being shot at, but I suppose I am far away enough that you don't really want to engage a destroyer at 12 kilometers. That's a battleship. Sure, if you hit your shells, 
you might deal significant amounts of damage. But chances are you're not gonna hit anything, and then you do no damage at all. And you don't get any experience for almost hitting the target, you only get experience when you actually hit the target. So it tends to be much better for the players to just shoot at battleships instead. Instead of that DD that's next to the battleship really far away. And thus, you can really kind of play this as a, like a cruiser, except you're slightly less worried when you're at cruiser ranges. So I'm just gonna keep advancing with them and just keep shelling, I suppose. It does seem like we're winning pretty hard, though. I mean, we have 11 ships, they only have, what, 7? Yeah, the game might actually be over, even though it's epicenter. We're just winning so hard in the number of ships. Yeah, 9 or 11 versus 5. The game's over. It's been less than 8 minutes, but the game's decided. They just have way too few ships left. They basically lost... Well, they couldn't push through the middle, and they lost on the right and left flanks at the same time, and now we're collapsing on them from both sides. That Prince Eugen is literally on the map border, and honestly, it's not actually a bad position, right? Because while she is on the map border, behind where she spawned, um, she's still within range of uh, battleships and even a destroyer. This is... This is pretty much perfect on how our team played compared to the enemy. We've only lost one ship. One! For eight of theirs. There is a Pommen coming in. Pommen is a bit of a problem because she obviously doesn't have much of a citadel. And on top of that, she also has Hydro. Which means that she is pretty good against these extremely slow torpedoes. And to make matters worse, the secondaries mean that in open water I can't really engage next to the Pommen. Because even if the Pommen starts shooting the battleships, the secondaries will still hit me and deal damage here and there. Luckily though, she is kind of busy angling against the battleships and this does give me enough of an angle to be able to get use my AP. Wait, did I just sail out of my smokescreen? Yeah, I just sailed out of my smokescreen. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to reverse back into it. Although, I don't know how useful it is, because in like 20 seconds, I'm gonna get hydroed by the Pommen anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit my torpedoes either. I, I thought she was gonna actually turn in, because she expected there to be torps or something, but no, actually she decided not to. Which was obviously the right choice, but still, I am a bit disappointed. I'm trying to hit the upper belt, but I seem to be failing at it, because... Yeah, I keep getting non-penetration. I should probably just fire at the superstructure. I'm afraid I'm gonna get just overpens on the superstructure, but... Clearly I'm not doing anything elsewhere either. Oh no, 5k damage, okay. That's more of what I was looking for. Wait, the Pommen actually never went down? Okay. Well, this was... This was an even better game than the one we had with Haaland last time, right? The enemy just fell apart without basically doing anything. 145k damage, sank two ships, 1731 base XP. Doesn't matter, that was like a 9 minute game. Still, this is a fast game. Also, the battleships on my side actually pushed, so they get their compliments from me. And Dieger, obviously. This Yugumo though, she was kinda unlucky. But look at this, this is the damage. 117k with AP. Pretty good. But 264 shells is also quite a lot. By the way, 264 shells hit out of 312. I only missed, what is that? Uh, 48 shells? Yeah, yeah, you can hit quite many of your shells with the ship. So, let's take a look at the commander skills and upgrades. The commander skills, I'm not entirely certain of it, but I went for, for incoming fire alert, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, main battery and AA expert for the range, then grease the gears. No adrenaline rush, sadly, but I did get fearless brawler, and then extra heavy AP shells. I should probably drop grease the gears and extra heavy AP shells and take adrenaline rush though. Or maybe drop survivability expert and take adrenaline rush, I'm not sure. Because you have your options, but Fearless Brawler seems pretty good nowadays, though. 
Like, seriously, it seems pretty good nowadays. Way better than it was before. Anyway, upgrades, obviously reload, then concealment, then propulsion, because I don't have a hydro. Then the torpedo upgrade, mostly because the other stuff doesn't isn't as important, then engine room protection and main arms modification 1. It's a pretty damn good ship, I really like her. She is so scary to cruisers, and even against battleships, she seems pretty fine, even when they try to angle. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon, thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.